When it comes to building big biceps, there are tons of exercises out there that you could use in your programming, but it can be very difficult to figure out which ones are good and which ones aren't. Today, I wanna show you my absolute favorite staple bicep exercise that I put into every one of my bicep routines, and I think you would benefit from it as well. All right, so the exercise that I wanna show you is called a strict curl, and we're gonna be using resistance bands or cables. Now, what makes a strict curl? Basically, we're gonna be doing a curl, but our back is going to be up against the wall, our butt, our mid back, and our neck, and everything, so that we can't use momentum in this exercise. The bicep is a smaller muscle group, and when you're doing curls, it's very easy to like use momentum and the rest of your body to try to get that weight or resistance up to the top of the curl. And we wanna isolate these biceps as much as possible, so by leaning up against the wall or a bench or something to secure your back and fix that position, we will now isolate the bicep and force all of that tension and stress into the muscle group. So how do we set up this exercise with bands? You can do it a number of different ways. My favorite way to set it up is using a clench fitness foot plate and a pair of 41 inch bands, as well as a pair of clench band handles because it makes it super convenient to hook the bands up as well as adjust the tension and also it's very comfortable so that you can focus on getting all of that force and stress into the biceps without being uncomfortable. The way I set this up, I basically grab a single 41 inch band, loop it through the handles on the outside of the foot plate and that's gonna basically keep the bands outside of my shoulder width so that they're not getting into my legs and stuff. You can also hook them to your feet if you don't have a foot plate, but the bands will be, they're gonna get a little bit more um, inconvenient just in terms of being able to set it up and, and, and move around and switch bands during the exercise, which is why I like the foot plate. So I like to hook one side of the band on each side of the handle. Um, I'm using the lightest band here from Clench Fitness, so this might be heavy for some people to do it this way. The other way that you can do it is basically just loop the band right around the handle, or right around the handle of the foot plate, and then you can loop this band multiple times around the clench band handle to help take up some slack. And then you'll just have to get everything nice and even here so that the handle comes out. But the goal here is to have tension on the band pulling you all the way down, pulling this arm straight so that we have a lot of tension at the bottom. And then as we go up through the rep, we're gonna build tension because as we stretch this resistance band, it's going to put out more tension. That is why I absolutely love using bands for this exercise because of the physics and the strength curve of the band itself. With free weights, you don't necessarily get a constant tension or an increasing tension throughout the rep. It's actually, de it increases up to a point, and then after you get to this certain angle, it starts to decrease. And that basically beyond this 90 degree angle, that force is gonna decrease with a free weight, and you're not gonna get peak force at peak contraction, which is why I love using bands for this. You can also use a cable machine as well, which will give you more constant tension throughout the rep, but the band is the only thing that's going to increase force as you stretch the band. So that is my long story on why I like to use the resistance bands for this exercise. Setting this up the rest of the way, basically one handle, one band on each side, and then I, my feet are out away from the wall, and then my back is flat against the wall, back, head, and neck all up against the wall. Keep my elbows pinned into my side, and then again, we have good tension pulling ourselves, pulling our arms straight, and then you're just squeezing this thing up all the way, peak contraction, big squeeze at the top, and then control that negative, two to three seconds on the way down. And then exhale on the way up, big squeeze. Let it down nice and slow. Remember, we're trying to keep those elbows pinned to our side so that we don't have tons of movement here. And then another thing that you can do, so once you get through this set and you fully exhaust, 
Sometimes I like to just come away from the wall and squeeze out another few reps. So we're not as strict here anymore, but our muscles are gonna be super fatigued after going through those strict curls. And then you could squeeze out and cheat a few more reps just to really fill up those biceps and keep them going. All right, so that is the exercise. Now, how do I like to program this exercise? Typically, I'll run three to four sets of around eight to 15 reps. And usually I start with, you know, the 15 reps uh, on the first set and just doing a warm up to get everything flowing with a lower resistance. And then as I pyramid or as I go through my sets, my reps will come down and my resistance, I will continue to increase it throughout the sets. And this exercise is also great to employ some of the crafty, uh, like volume maximizing techniques like I showed you with the, the cheat curl. So we were up against the wall doing these. And then after you finish or get to failure on the set, you can lean out from the wall and then you'll, you'll be able to use a little bit more momentum to kind of squeeze out a few more reps and maximize that volume. Another technique that I really love to do with this exercise is using a rest pause set on my very top set. So I'll replace my, my top working set with a rest pause set, which is basically three mini sets where you go as many reps as you can to failure and then a 15 deep breath break and then another bout of as many reps as you can to failure and then another 15 deep breath break and then one final bout of reps until failure. So it's basically three mini sets in one. And those are probably the ways that I love to do these. And then in terms of how do you fit this in to the rest of your bicep program, I'll usually do these um, kind of towards the beginning to really pre-exhaust and get those biceps filled up. And then I'll finish with maybe one or two more bicep exercises to target different areas like, you know, brachialis or brachioradialis, stuff like that to help really build the arms up. And that's usually how I like to program these. And honestly, just, just doing this exercise alone with the techniques that I mentioned will get you a very good bicep pump and you should notice some good growth just from this exercise alone. So there you go, that is my top most favorite bicep exercise that I think should be a staple in everyone's programming. I've been using it for a number of years now and I know that I've seen tons of growth out of it. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to smash that like button. Also, check out these on-screen video links for more content just like this. And if you need any of the bands or accessories shown here today, head over to clenchfitness.com and we will hook you up. And as always, thank you for watching.